Hey everyone, my name is Wedge, and welcome back to our Best of the Rest series, where we talk about all the Kaladesh cards not spoiled individually. If you missed part one of our series, talking about the white cards and artifacts, you can check that out right here. Boop, super easy. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the rest of the blue cards in Kaladesh. We'll talk about limited playability, constructed playability, and just general goodness. If you enjoy our Best of the Rest series and want more videos like these, be sure to hit the like button. Helps out a lot. Ether Theorist is 2 mana for a 1-3 Vidalcan Rogue. When it enters the battlefield, you get 3 energy counters. You can tap it and pay 1 energy to scry 1. I'm honestly surprised that this is a common. Sure, it's not going to be able to scry as long as the sigiled starfish of old could, but that's okay. It's a 1-3, which means it'll block early attackers just fine, and it comes with 3 energy, so you have 3 turns worth of scry to work with. That's a lot more than you think. I think Aether Theorist is definitely uncommon material in the common slot. Mark my words, this card is going to do work in limited. Aether Meltdown is 2 mana for an enchantment aura with flash, enchant creature or vehicle. When it enters the battlefield, you get 2 energy counters. Enchanted permanent gets minus 4 minus 0. I love this card. I love that it can target vehicles before their creatures. That's awesome. I love that it gives you energy without using energy, something I know a lot of players have wanted more of, and it's basically removal. Sure, it may leave them with a wall of sorts, but this card neuters an attacker. For sure, great card, love it, awesome design. Confiscation Coup is three of anything and two blue for a sorcery. Choose target artifact or creature. You get four energy counters. Then you may pay an amount of energy equal to the permanent's converted mana cost. If you do, gain control of it. So this is the energy-based version of friggin' Dominate. Talk about a throwback. You pay energy equal to the converted mana cost of what you want, and it's yours. Mind control has always been absurdly good and limited, and while the coup doesn't have that kind of flexibility, you're still taking something that isn't yours. I'll say yes to that. Also, this is another story card. Flavor text. Citizens, do not resist. This is for your safety. Tezzeret bids you to surrender your inventions now. Sure, again, nothing could possibly go wrong here. Tezzeret, what a scamp. Dramatic Reversal is 2 mana for an instant. Untap all non-land permanents you control. I don't care about the card itself. I care about the art. There's the Gatewatch with a Johnny. Man, that looks so good. Beyond excited that a Johnny's back. Things are about to get crazy. Can't wait for a Johnny to just do a Johnny things everywhere. He's going to a Johnny all over everyone's faces. Have you seen a Johnny do a Johnny things before? It's insanity. Failed inspection is two of anything and two blue for an instant. Counter target spell, draw a card, then discard a card. This? No. Just. No. No. Gear Seeker Serpent is five of anything and two blue for a five six serpent. It costs one less to cast for each artifact you control. You can also pay six and it can't be blocked this turn. Wait. Hold the phone, we're printing more cards with Affinity now? This is like playing with fire, I swear. The Serpent is gigantic, and if you have a bunch of artifacts in your limited deck, certainly playable due to the stupidly broken cost reduction ability. But it's the precedent being set here that bothers me. Affinity is back, and I don't like it. Glimmer of Genius is 4 mana for an instant. Scry 2, then draw 2 cards. You get 2 energy counters. Oh, well... Hello there, this card's great, this is very good. You take Divination, bump it up one mana, make it instant speed, and you get to scry beforehand and you get energy counters? This card is pushed for sure. Well, I'm actually pretty excited about this for standard if some kind of control deck shows up. At most, you can go four cards deep and you get two energy for free, basically. Not saying this is going to be a standard all-star or anything, but you gotta admit, this is more reasonable than most blue draw spells we've seen in a while, right? And limited? Ha, oh, slam dunk crazy strong, obviously. Of course, this is very good. High Tide Hermit is 5 mana for a 4-4 crab with Defender. When it enters the battlefield, you get 4 energy counters. You can pay 2 energy counters and it can attack this turn as though it didn't have Defender. I did not expect to see a crab out of this set that came with a crab load of energy. 4? That's a lot. 5 mana for a 4-4 with Defender is eh, at best. But you can make it attack and you get a bunch of energy, so decent filler creature as far as I'm concerned. Not great, but not the worst card in the set. If you need energy, this produces it in spades. Junjeet Sentry is 3 mana for a 2-3 Vidalcan Soldier. 
When it enters the battlefield, you get two energy counters. You can tap it and pay two energy, and you may tap or untap target artifact or creature. I understand why this is uncommon, but at the same time, how is this an uncommon? But the theorist is a common. That's still bothering me, but I digress. Three mana for a two three is never great, but it brings you two energy and you get to tap something down that you don't like pretty much whenever you want. It's looking like blue has a lot of energy based creatures. If you can find a way to consistently produce energy, the sentry is a wonderful card, essentially removing the biggest threat on the board each turn. Its value is absolutely dependent on if you can generate enough energy. If you can't, not that great. If you can, very good. Malfunction is 4 mana for an enchantment aura, enchant artifact or creature. When Malfunction enters the battlefield, tap enchanted permanent. Enchanted permanent doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Solid removal, nice that it gives you the option to target uncrewed vehicles before they can do some real damage. There's also some synergy in tapping down something with power. Prevents it from crewing vehicles itself. Sleep Paralysis, but casts a wider net. I'll take it. More than just playable, quite strong. Early blue pick for sure. Minister of Inquiries is one blue mana for a 1-2 Vidalcan Advisor who really hates books. When it enters the battlefield, you get two energy counters. You can tap it and pay one energy and target player puts the top three cards of their library into their graveyard. Cards like this are always particularly difficult to predict power-wise. Power and toughness are irrelevant. You do get two energy on entry to the battlefield, and you can fuel two mill effects. You could either mill yourself for some recursion shenanigans if you have them, or you can try milling your opponent out. But as we've seen in past limited formats, if you don't have a dedicated mill deck, it just isn't fast enough. You're spending resources on something that doesn't help your board state. I honestly don't know if this is going to be effective or not, but my gut tells me that it's definitely not better than the other energy hoarders we've seen already. Pretty confident saying that. Revolutionary Rebuff is 2 mana for an instant. Counter target non-artifact spell unless its controller pays 2. Thank you, wizards. Thank finally. Now I know this isn't mana leak. I get that, but I don't give a crap. Revolutionary Rebuff is definitely standard playable. Absolutely, 100%. Artifacts may be a big deal in Limited, but not every single standard deck is going to solely rely on them. This is a great card. I expect it in standard control decks for sure. Finally, we got a decent counter spell again. Oh, that took too long if you ask me. Just love it. Select for Inspection is one blue mana for an instant. Return target tapped creature to its owner's hand, scry one. Unsummon effects this cheap are amazing in Limited, especially at instant speed. The best part about this card it says tap creature, not creature that dealt you damage this turn, so you can return it to its owner's hand before it ever gets the chance to hit you in the face. I can just imagine someone crews a vehicle with a few creatures, goes to attack, taps their giant vehicle, and bam, back to their hand. Talk about time walking. Oh, feels so good. The scry one's just gravy. It's very good. Vidalkin Blademasters, 3 mana for a 2-3 Vidalkin Soldier with Prowess. 3 mana 2-3s bore me in this limited environment, but it has Prowess, so if you're running any type of spell-based strategy in limited, this becomes quite strong. Otherwise, not too excited about it. Windrake is back, 3 mana for a 2-2 Flyer, can't go wrong with a classic. Great inclusion for any blue deck in limited, solid creature, stood the test of time, it's a decent pickup mid-pack for sure. And with that ends our review of the rest of the blue cards in Kaladesh. I won't lie, the color seems a bit clunky and too reliant on energy. We saw a myriad of cards that were useless without energy. That worries me greatly. Despite that, there is some removal, nice disruption, and decent creatures. I wouldn't say it's the standout best color by any means, but it does have power. Let's hope you can create some energy, because if you can't, things might not go so well, just fair warning. Anyways, what do you all think about blue? Is this a color that you're excited to draft with? Do you see some interesting synergies that I did not? Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, be sure to subscribe for the latest and most reliable Magic the Gathering information you could ever need. This is the Manasaurus, I'm Wedge. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. This video is brought to you in part by TCGPlayer.com. As we approach pre-release and the release of Kaladesh in general, you have to be hankering for some Kaladesh goodness, right? Like, boxes are always fun. Split it with some friends, draft the entire thing, good times. Right now on TCG Player, boxes will only cost you $95 each. Fair price, especially if you don't have an LGS near you. So if you want a box, click the link up the channel, we all win.